My name is Maya Burhan Burkar. And I am Sun Kwan Ong. And we are inventors in the Lemelson MIT Student Prize Competition. Our team has developed a hardware and software retrofit kit to make existing power wheelchairs autonomous for use both at home and in hospitals. For people with conditions like ALS and MS, using the conventional joystick interfaces of power wheelchairs is simply not an option. Instead, they must use alternative input devices like sip and puff switches or eye tracking software, which can be prohibitively difficult to use. For these users, as well as those with arthritis, muscle fatigue, age-related hand tremors, and other conditions, we developed our autonomous wheelchair retrofit kit solution. Now let's talk about hospitals. Mid-sized hospitals employ dozens of porters whose job it is to push in patients from their rooms to their appointments in wheelchairs, regardless of whether they're injured. This results in thousands of hours of close proximity contact with patients per porter per year. Since the pandemic began, there have been numerous documented cases of porters being the flashpoints for COVID outbreaks within hospitals around the world. The Ventus is the world's first fully self-driving wheelchair that is solving both of these problems. By taking in data from a wide array of sensors, the internal computers can then synthesize that data into a map of the environment while simultaneously localizing itself and navigating within that map. To use this, first a caretaker or a nurse pushes the wheelchair around the house or hospital, making a map of the environment and marking off relevant locations with a touchscreen interface. After that, all the user needs to do is sit down in the chair and it will take them entirely autonomously to their desired destination. We have been fortunate to partner with two of the world's largest power wheelchair manufacturers to help bring our technology to market. Our early adopter has been Toronto General Hospital. We have both co-authored a white paper with their Director of Imaging, validating the market need for our technology, and we are in the process of completing clinical trials as we speak.